Hey everyone, Heath Floor, 1x5 Games. Tonight we're going to take a look at Transformers uh, Season 1. This is the first box, first edition that they release. Man, it kind of matches the nut punch. The uh, colorization there looks pretty slick, if you ask me. Wizards of the Coast game. It's actually printed in the USA. I'm uh, totally curious as to where they print it. I didn't... I'm I'm not into the Transformers game per se, except for while I was at Gen Con last weekend. Uh, we did play the demo, Alec and I. I kicked his ass because you know I'm just that good. It's a pretty slick box, and so I opened a pack just recently. I it hasn't been on video yet. I think I might tack it on the end here. But I was absolutely confused about the oversized card and what the hell I was going to do with it. Now that I've played the game, I understand a little bit better what the hell I would do with that card. Now, the other confusion, other point of confusion, is the values of these cards. Um, it's kind of mixed in with the San Diego Comic Con releases. And so that's kind of... It just kind of confuses things in terms of the first series. Excuse me. The uh, San Diego Comic-Con 2019 version that I got was Soundwave and Blaster. That's a different story. They have their own section for that on TCG, so that's good. Oh, okay, that pops up. Love this insert. It's pretty nice. Love the blueprints there. Pretty cool. Wizards of the Coast, Makers of Magic, they make this game as well. I'm not familiar with the values, I may have to look them up here and there. And of course, this is uh, my, I think my first time opening up the Series 1. Okay, it's interesting here, I had to, the way they package this. Haha, <laughs> alright. I got Megatron, I mean, that's gotta be good, right? Megatron's pretty dope in the cartoon. I always loved Megatron. He was, uh... God, the packaging. It's gonna take me all frickin' night. I always loved Megatron in the cartoon, so let me take a look here. Is he one of the... high values? I need to figure out how we look at the rare. Wave 1... Just says RT. Okay. Let's just take a look here. Megatron. Living weapon. Oh. Shit. He's worth 15 bucks. Alright. And he's rare. I don't see the rare. Rarity level. So we'll just kind of. Keep an eye open here. As we go through these. Man, it's a lot of packaging to get through, though. What do we got? Piercing Blaster. Common. Okay, so that one's labeled common. That's a rare, the bigger they are. Disruption is an uncommon. And then we have a swap mission. So I'm going to do uncommon. I'll just put the commons down here. That does not say... Maybe the R stands for rare? I don't know. Let's open up another jumbo card. It's kind of a pain in the ass how many how much packaging we got here. It does protect the larger card. I had a order I had a special order the jumbo sized protectors. They will be in the mail tomorrow. Alright, Inferno. Okay, so it says you there. I'm assuming that's uncommon. Cool. So we'll put him there. Deal with these guys. I had a great time playing it. It's, it was actually a fun game. For the short demo that I played. Rabbit Conversion, Drill Arms, Flamethrower, in. 
improvised shield with a fusion cannon of Megatron. Cool. Computer sabotage and a backup plan for our uncommons. That's not bad. I can see the nostalgia. We actually talked to a guy. Gamers are funny, man. They're they're introverted. Then most mostly introverts. And then you get to Gen Con. Everyone's talking. Everyone's like, "Yeah, man, this is what I'm doing." Oh, Bumblebee, sweet. I'm pretty sure this is worth some money. Maybe it's common, so maybe not. So we do have various levels for the big cards too. We have common, so far common, uncommon, and rare. So anyways, uh, it's pretty funny talking to gamers when you're at Gym, Gen Con because they actually talk to you. They're excited to talk to you about their favorite games. And then as soon as something else catches their attention, they're like, fuck you, I'm gone. Uh, I got other shit to do. And uh, so we met this gentleman who's shock absorbers for my rare, strafing gun, and multi-mission gear for my uncommons. He was uh, kicking ass and taking names in the Transformers ter Transformers tournament. And so we were at, a, at an outlying hotel, all three of us. Oh shit, I got Megatron again. But this is a con. Okay. Very cool. So we were all sitting there waiting for for frickin' Uber, which was canceling left and right on us because we were 15 minutes of downtown and they had shut down the 70, so they just weren't interested in, interested in picking fucking people up, which is stupid. They canceled on me three fucking times in the first day. Honestly, I, I shit you not, this one fucking guy called me and he goes, Hey, um, you know, with traffic, I'm like 20 minutes away from you. Cybertonium bow and collateral damage a grenade launcher. And I was like, okay. Uh, I nothing I could do about that. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here waiting for a ride. And he goes, well, I think it's just going to take too long. I said, all right, uh, go ahead and cancel then. We got Jetfire. He's an uncommon. And he's like, well, no, I can't cancel because, you know, that would make my ratings low. You cancel. I was like, well, fuck that. They're going to charge me a fee. They charge you a fee if you cancel. And I was like, no, I, I'm not going to cancel. He goes, well, it's, it's still 20 minutes away. And I'm like, well, I don't fucking care. I need a ride. So come pick my ass up, you know? No ray of star scream. Bug bomb. Ramming speed. And and no shit. Five minutes later, the the asshole canceled on me. He just sat there and canceled on me. You could see on the app he wasn't moving anywhere. It was just fucking ridiculous. I I was really pissed off that day. Needless to say, we all made it. Everything was fine. Dinobot slug. We shared a ride with the Transformers dude who was kicking ass and taking names. And he was just talking our ear off, telling us how cool it was. And Alec and I were like, fuck yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go check this out, you know? Didn't even catch his name. He was just gone. <laughs> he was like, thanks, I gotta get to my match. And, uh, <laughs> and that, that pretty much sums up gamers as a whole. They'll talk your ear off. Until the match is ready, and then they're gone. Other than the shoot, shitty Ubers on the first morning, everything else went great. Well, we did have one guy. Uh, I don't know how much I want to talk about him on my on YouTube. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't because he had an altercation, and he caught on camera, and he sued a bunch of people, and... Probably not worth the story, even though it was weird. But the guys, he picked us up at night. He seemed like he was on some on some drugs. 
we'll just leave it at that. He had uh, a shit, a shit ton of cameras. I, I swear to God, there must have been three fucking cameras in that car. It wasn't even a special car. God, it, it, what was it? It was an SUV, but it was a smaller one. It wasn't anything crazy. Data bank. Plasma burst and disarm. I mean, I'm going to say it was a Nissan or something like that. Like, it, I forget what their small SUV is. It, it wasn't anything crazy. It wasn't anything to, to get nuts over. But, oh, Ramjet. That's cool. He's a common. That sucks. But it was cool, you know, for the most part. Oh, the one, there was one chick one morning. We got into a car and she had gotten a hold of some dank ass weed. It was like, fuck, I'm getting a contact high. She was cool. She was quiet though. Bombing run. Armed hovercraft and a treasure hunt. Oh, nice. I imagine she was quiet because she was, you know, fucking stoned, maybe. It's always weird. Uber is, is a weird thing for me. You get into someone's car, you jump into their ride. Uh, barrage for a common. And it's like, you know, it's just their, usually, typically, it's their daily driver. That's kind of sad. You talk to a lot of these folks. I, I want almost said guys, but there's a lot of women doing it too. I, most of them do it during the day. I don't fucking blame them. Guys are fucking creepy as hell at night, especially when they're drunk. Cargo trailer, jaws of steel, and computer sabotage. But uh, it's kind of funny. You talk to some of these Uber folks and. They're like, oh yeah, I just quit my job for this. Oh, how long have you been doing it? Oh, a week. Two weeks. I mean, I think the most one person was doing was five weeks. Uncommon Dinobot Sludge. Man, I had all the Dinobots. I fucking love those. Those are the jam. Those are my jam back in the day. Man, Dinobots. That brings back some memories. Ah. It's like a flashback. Just gonna zone out here. Agility of Bumblebee for a rare bug bomb in Aerial Recon. Overall, though, man, Gen Con. Gen Con's fun. There's a lot of people that bump into you and shit. You just kind of. Sergeant Cup? You gotta start ignoring that shit, but it's hard. You're walking around with your backpack and people just keep bumping your ass. It's fucking annoying. It gets annoying anyway. It wears on you. By the time you're done, you get home for the night, you're like, you need five beers, a few whiskeys, roll out. For rare emergency maintenance and collateral damage for uncommons. You know, you're definitely ready for some whiskey and beer by the time you get done for the day. But man, so much to see. So much visually. It's it's a stimulus overload for sure. Flame War. Hell yeah. That's cool. There you go. Oh, common. That was, that was fucking disappointing. Common. Like, seriously? A common? More commons? Where's the diversity? Like, that's a, that's a female robot. She should be at least a secret rare, I'm thinking. Thermal weaponry. Does that say multi tool? Okay. Disarm. <laughs> Leatherman. They probably can't use Leatherman. Alright. I gotta quit messing around here. Taking too long. Sky Warp. Wait, did we already get that? Uncommon. I love Sky Warp back in the day, though. 
What was the other? Oh, Starscream. Oh, Starscream was such a whiny little bitch, wasn't he? He always whined Megatron. It was fucking annoying. Like, grow some balls, man. You're a fighter jet, for fuck's sake. Swap parts, plasma burst, and turbo boosters. Shit, this is a long stack. Well, I guess they break it down to, into two stacks. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is that a... Come on. Optimus Prime. There we go. Freedom Fighter. Common, what the fuck? Whatever. It's kind of interesting. I, did, I didn't realize the big cards had shit commons too. Heroism. Rare Power Sword and a pen Jaws of Steel. It'll be interesting to see which ones go on eBay and which ones don't. Yeah, I know I talk shit about fucking stopping eBay. Chop shop. Nice. Sneaky Insecticon. Oh shit, I had the beetle. Yeah, I, I did have that one. And the grasshopper. What I forget what his name was. Those guys are cool as shit. Yeah, I talk shit about stopping eBay. I, c I can't stop eBay because I just have too much inventory to move. Um, but I, I was definitely annoyed. Still am, in a lot of ways. Team Up Tactics, Strafing Run, and Treasure Hunt. Again, and okay, we're on our second stack, that's good. But, you know, I just took the month off and I'm going away going traveling oh rare optimus prime battlefield legend yeah that's cool man i got a megatron rare and a optimus rare i don't think it gets any cooler than that but i'm going down under for two weeks that's not a metaphor for sex i'm literally going to australia one shall stand one shall fall Classic Megatron with classic Optimus. Crushing treads and emergency maintenance. So, yeah. Last week of August, I will uh, open back up the store. Put some new shit on. And just move forward, you know. What, what else can you do? I'm going to try a different box. I suspect that the local mailbox... Is damaging my cards. Ah, oh, shit! I had the Brontosaurus too. I want. I had the Pterodactyl, the Brontosaurus, and the T-Rex, and the Triceratops. I had almost all of the the Dinobots, man. Damn, they were freaking cool. That was like the coolest thing you could get when you were a kid. Looks like I, I already got that card, but. Whatever. I'm going to be excited. Leave me alone. So yeah, man. I'll I'll put the store back up uh, at the end of August. Get that shit going. I got to get some more money in the bank. Energon Axe. Blast Shield and Power Sword. You know. Th I want to say this shit doesn't buy itself. And I'm just... Have some credit card bills I gotta pay off. There's the pterodactyl. There you go. Dinobot swooped. Swoop. Fearsome flyer. Common. Bullshit. Underrated. But yeah, I gotta get some money in the bank. I gotta clear out some inventory. The only way to do that is take the risk, put it on eBay. And, um,. I don't know, man. I've been thinking about, you know, I, I've i been thinking about doing, like, quarters. Um, if you think about quarters of the year, two out of three months, maybe hustle really hard. And then, like, a third month take off because it's just so much work to, to deal with swap parts. Computer sabotage and plasma burst. We'll see how that works. The other thing is it affects my family life, of course. Always sitting there 
There's some, oh shit, I had that one too. Damn it, I really had a. I had some pretty cool toys. I think I stole most of them. I think. I probably owe Hasbro like 50 bucks or something. Actually, wait, did they have G.I. Joe too? Shit. Uh, actually, I might owe Hasbro a couple hundred. The bigger they are, body armor and disarm. But yeah, man, it, I mean, it affects my family life. It affects everything. Affects the game design, timeline, everything. Freedom Fighter, Common, Optimus Prime. Selling that to you guys for ten bucks. I got two of them now. That's twenty bucks. Might actually pay for this box. Start your engines with a disruptive entrance and crushing treads. All right, fair enough. But it, it was good. I needed the, the month off to kind of recuperate. And, you know, I had another person the other day tell me that they'd never receive their card. So I'm, I'm really perplexed as to why people aren't receiving their shit. Wheeljack, I just have to take it at face value that they're not. And, uh, you know, all I could do is reimburse. It sucks. I lose a lot of money. It definitely doesn't make it worth, it doesn't make it desirable, that's for sure. Energon Axe, multi-tool again, disruption. But, you know, overall that's small percentage when you, when you look at it at the end of the day. I just wish there was a little bit better odds. Autobot Hound. What is he? Oh, he's a common. I kind of figured he wasn't really worth shit anyway back in the day. Anyone have jazz when they were kids? I had jazz. I got it for Christmas. I broke it within 10 minutes opening the box. My mom said, too bad, so sad. Ion Blaster of Optimus Prime. Strafing Run and Body Armor. Man, that was a... That was a bummer of a Christmas, let me tell you. I'll never forget. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Humans are funny in general. Megatron, Decepticon leader. Oh. oh that's a common one. Shh. Whatever. Megatron. Humans in, in general are kind of funny. You know, we remember the... The biggest highlights and the biggest lowlights of our lives. It's kind of fucking stupid, but... Dino Chomp, Plasma Burst, and Ramming Speed. You know, is what it is. But I do have fond mo memories of... Uh, oh, what was the... What was the F-14? Inferno. Pretty sure we already got him. He's an uncommon. Oh god, I can't remember. He was an Autobot. He was freaking huge. He was like, you can't even see my hands. I'm like, hey, he's this big. You can't see my hands. But I mean, he was he was sizable. And then uh, my grandparents. So my grandparents got me that one year for Christmas. Because I asked them, you know, they call me up. Hey, what do you want? And. Uh, I wasn't rich by any means. My 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 home life was relatively on the low end. Security checkpoint, multi mission gear, and bug bomb. Whereas in my grandparents had a little little bit of money, but you know we only they only asked me what I wanted on Christmas, and so it's kind of like the one gift of the year. Ramjet. Where you got to go all out. And they would tell you, you know, just just ask, what do you want? So, one year, I got the F-14. I wish I could remember his name. Then, then the, the next year, they got me the Constructicons. The whole 
freaking box. It was so, so dope back in the day. That was, that was just fucking crazy. Matrix leadership, debilitating crystal, and rapid ascent. And then, you know, one year, they got me the NES. That's right. The, oh, there's Starscream. The whiny little bitch. Oh, he's a common? Well, that makes sense. They got me the NES, and it came with the the gun. It came with Duck Hunt and Super Mario Brothers. And and it was crazy, man. I, I'll i never forget that shit. And, and one of the reasons why, why I won't forget it, besides the fact that it was Nintendo and it was like, you know, the next wave of, of uh, entertainment and video games, which is just freaking crazy. No Ray of uh, Starscream, Swap Missions, Disarm. It was so cool to be part of that movement or that era. But it was the battle. No shit, the battle that my mom and dad had over the box because it was my dad's parents who bought it for me. And, uh, of course, they were divorced. Demolisher. Hell yeah. What was the train? What was the train's name? He Didn't he... I think he transformed into three things, right? Robot, train, and a jet. Those guys are cool, too. But anyways, um, so mom and dad were divorced eh, since I was one, so no sob story. I, I didn't know any better, but... Uh, my dad did not want the Nintendo to go to my house. He wanted to stay at his house. Static laser of Ironhide. Equipment enthusiast and disruptive entrance. And fucking... They got into this big battle. And, and dad's like... No. This stays with me. Well, the problem was... I only see... I only saw dad... In, well, I still only see fucking dad... Once, maybe twice a year. It it hasn't changed. It's it's still the same. Sergeant Cup. And no bullshit. So they got into this argument. And I was bummed, man. Because I was never going to see that Nintendo, you know? Like, that was it. Thanks for the gift. Uh, here, fucking have it back kind of deal. And so I was bummed out. And, and Dad wouldn't budge. Heroism backup plan, and power sword. I don't know why he was being such a hard ass about it. He, he just did not want my mom to have it in her house. So it was just this big fucking ruckus. Barrage. Nice. Come. So anyways, I'll, I'll never forget, man, my fucking grandfather comes down to my dad's house or wherever he was staying I think he was yeah he was renting a room at the time and I was there at the time and my grandfather's like they're arguing you know they're just going back and forth it's a gift and dad's like no it's mine now security checkpoint blast shield and armed hovercraft and dad didn't know what the fuck it was he didn't give a shit it, it was just the principle of the thing last pack and so, I'll never forget, man, my grandfather whipped out a fucking checkbook. And keep in mind, he already bought the system for me for Christmas. And he whips out a fucking checkbook. Oh, kickback, yeah, I had the, I had that guy too. Man, the, yeah, the insects were fucking cool shit. And, uh, like, my grandfather offered to buy it for my dad... <laughs> Again, he was going to pay double for that video game system just so I could have it. And I, I'm i pretty sure that kind of woke Dad up because he just, he was like, he gave it up. He was like, ah, whatever. But I'll never forget that, you know. Salvage for parts, and that's just one thing that I never want to do to my kids is just kind of put them into that mix. So we've always had a, had a system here, body armor, blast shield, where... We're like the centralized location where the kids can come, everyone's safe, no one's going to get judged, and 
and this is just the place where everything is safe and uh you know st stable that's all we're looking for man stability a lot of crazy stories tonight <laughs> sorry about that um a little bit buzzed not overly drunk but uh yeah pretty excited to open up some of these new things i just realized all the like my piles over here are off off camera but you know got two rare large cards so we'll see what those are worth and uh, go from there anyways these will most of these will end up on ebay the ones that i don't intend to play with and uh just check it out when you get a chance 1x5 1x5 games on ebay and uh yeah like share subscribe or don't just enjoy the content kick back relax and uh we'll catch you next time cheers